know, I, it was real short territory. Well, Memphis is funny because you you uh, you, you were on the A team or the B team. If you were on the B team, if you were on the A team, you had Memphis, Louisville, Evansville. You had the big shows. But if you were on the B team, they call it the buttermilk loop for some reason, whatever buttermilk means. But uh, I guess that's what you eat. But buttermilk. Uh, was like the Buddy Wayne Towns was using Ripley, Mississippi. You know, we'd be some. We would be in Louisville, Kentucky. The other guys would be in Ripley, Mississippi. I mean, you know, so it was. Uh, uh, it just depend on what, uh, you know, what what if you were on the A team or the B team. If you were, uh, you know, if it was a good territory or bad territory. What was uh, your first initial impressions of Jerry Lawler? Because you got to work with Lawler a lot, so yeah, I think Lawler, in my opinion, is probably one of the most talented guys that's ever been in wrestling. I mean, he's just a creative genius, just very creative. I mean, he could come up with ten thousand angles. Everybody that come through there had an angle and uh, had some kind of gimmick, you know, Freddie Nightmare. I mean, whatever was on TV or hot in Hollywood, he would have that same gimmick in the territory. So, did you get along with him uh, politically and all that, or you know, behind the scenes when, when yeah. he booked? Yeah, I always got along with Jerry. I, I was always pretty, especially in my younger career, I was easy to get along with. Right. Yeah. What about uh, Jerry Jarrett? What was he like as a, as a boss? Jerry was good. He didn't come around that often, uh, but but he was he was another creative genius. He was. They had a really good thing going on and a monopoly going on in Memphis, and uh, I really enjoyed work for him. You guys traveled a lot. Obviously, the roads you know down there were pretty tedious. You guys were on the road what? Four days, five days a week down there in Memphis? Or? Mm -hmm. yeah. What was the schedule like for you? Well, Monday was Memphis, Tuesday was Louisville, Wednesday was Evansville, and then we'd have a spot show Thursday, and then a spot show Friday, and then TV Saturday morning, and then a show that night. We were off Sundays. Uh, hmm. What are your memories of uh, the Billy and uh, Buddy show? Uh, <laughs> my, funniest me my funniest memory of that whole thing was... Uh, that uh, Eddie Marlin, uh, Eddie Marlin was building the set with the the Bill and Buddy thing, right? And uh, Lawler at one point was his cue was supposed to come from the ring and hit it with a chair and smash it in a million pieces. Well, Eddie Marlin went and you know when he made this set, he made it out of reinforced it out of two by fours, man. I mean, it was huh. like a small house, right? You know, and Lawler thought that it was made just out of like you know cheap cardboard or something and when Lawler came out there and hit that thing it was like <laughs> it like it started vibrating in the chair and it worked its way up his up the up his arms and it was hilarious <laughs> uh but uh you know I don't I don't really remember that that Bill and Buddy show being that great but to this day that's all any, that's all anybody wants to talk about even over Flair and I yeah they want to talk about uh the Bill and Buddy show <laughs> What about uh, I guess Lance Russell? Any good Lance Russell stories? Lance was was just always a he was the consummate gentleman. He was just always a gentleman, uh, very smart, knew his part, uh, never had a, a a bad word to say about anybody, and uh, just always just always a gentleman. Now, uh, after you left the Crockett territory, after you were let go, where did you go from there? Did you go back to Memphis, or did you go uh, Memphis? Okay. You went through Memphis a lot, I guess. When did you notice that uh, the business in Memphis was getting really bad? <laughs> when they started pushing Jeff Jarrett. Right. I mean, that's you know, the truth. What are your memories of uh, Jeff? I trained Jeff. I mean, I helped train him. On my Sundays off, I went down to his dad's house to the barn and, and helped train him. I love Jeff. We didn't. That angle that we first did there, where we did the last sellout, was was uh, he was involved in it, where he was the referee, right? And we, you know, acted like we pulled the dad, you know, Jerry Jarrett's eye out, and that's what all that was the catalyst for the big, you know, the uh, the sellout there, and the Texas Death Match and everything, and uh, but uh, I just think they started maybe repeating themselves a lot. Were you surprised when uh, I guess that? Uh Lawler went to work for Vince? Well, it was always funny because Lawler would be up doing jobs in WWF and then, you know, Monday nights he would be down with us and he would be like, you know, dropping the strap and beating everybody and all of us up, you know. It was kind of comical that, and I was, you know, everybody was thinking to herself, I wonder how long it's going to take for the Memphis wrestling fans to catch on that, 
Right. You know, I think that was detrimental to that territory too. Was Lawler working the WWE and going out there and doing that funny, stupid, goofy stuff? Kind of killed us. You know, and then he was, you know, really, you know, really straight wrestler and really tough. All of a sudden, he got tough on the Sunday night on the way home from New York. You know, <laughs> when he hit the runway in Memphis, he was tough again. <laughs>